So I take it that you don't necessarily believe that the iWatch or any wearable tech that's going to be coming out of Apple will be a game changer for the company. I think that's a, a reasonable characterization of how we feel. Um, there really are going to be, at least we think, um, three pieces to what Apple talks about on Tuesday. One is obviously going to be about um, the iPhone, whether they talk about the iPhone 6 or perhaps a larger screen iPhone offering. Um, secondly, um, we definitely expect that at the least the company is going to, let's say, allude to or touch upon or maybe even announce um, some type of wearable device, but we don't necessarily think it's going to be available soon after the events. Um, and then third is maybe um, some details related to um, new software and services, perhaps with an emphasis to some extent on payment functionality. Now getting back to the wearables concept, um, we have a hard time believing that Apple is going to suddenly um, take the world by storm with a so-called iWatch or comparable product. That being said, however, let's be frank, over the last 10 or 15 years, I don't know that a lot of people were expecting a lot from an, I, um, an iPod or an iPhone um, or an iPad, but yet Apple did tremendously in terms of just executing on um, the vision that they've had and delivering products that people didn't even realize um, they wanted or needed. So everyone is trying to apply that template to what they're uh, perhaps going to do relative to wearables. It's just we don't see it right now. We think the enthusiasm focused on that category is probably a little premature and, and perhaps somewhat misguided at this stage. All right, uh, Scott, thank you so much for that.